Hey guys, Coach Sue here with Physique Development, and today we're going to be educating on the dumbbell Y raise. And if you're wondering why do I need to do a Y raise, it is going to be working your medial delt in the shortened range. And another exercise that is very similar to this is going to be the dumbbell lateral raise, which is probably one that you're a little bit more familiar with. But if you do need a refresher on how to execute the movement, then go ahead and check out our video on it. When looking at the Y raise, the setup is going to be instrumental in making sure that you're truly able to grow those medial delts. So what I want you to do is to go ahead and stand hip width distance apart. Make sure your core is braced and that you have a neutral pelvis and spine. Then I want you to go ahead and have your palms facing one another and have them about shoulder width distance apart. Then you're gonna go ahead and raise your hands above your head so they're in line with your ears. And then you're gonna take these pinkies and just externally rotate those hands out. And this is gonna be your Y position. We don't want it all the way out here and it's not gonna be all the way up here. We're gonna be right here for that Y position. And when we go through this movement, we want to actually go ahead and hinge at the hips. The reason for this is we wanna think about lining up the tissue with the resistance. And if we go ahead and go through this movement like you'll see me doing here, while standing just straight up, we're not getting that line of resistance pull to truly get on those medial delts. You can stand more upright with certain cable movements because the pull of resistance is different, but with dumbbells here, we wanna go ahead and hinge at the hips. And then for our active range of motion, we're actually gonna start the movement right here. We're not gonna start with the dumbbells down here. And this is gonna be a similar concept if you're doing a dumbbell lateral raise that you don't need to bring the dumbbells to touch down in front of you. You're gonna stay that 15 degrees away from the body because that's where you're starting to feel that tension on the muscle. So you're gonna go ahead and brace your core, neutral spine, then go ahead and hinge at the hips here. And you're gonna be in that Y position, again, starting right here and raising these arms past your ears. Another common mistake we see, other than going all the way down to your quads, is people ending the motion right here, where we're really gonna get that fully shortened position when we get to here. And if you feel like your traps are starting to be a little bit sore after this exercise, that is great news because your lower trap is actually gonna stabilize your scapula throughout this movement. So if you try out this exercise, we would love to hear it. And if you have any other questions, we would love to answer them below. So go ahead and drop them. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, hi, my name is Sue, and I would absolutely love for you to join the Physique Development family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button, and if you're already a subscriber and you wanna be notified on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday when we post, go ahead and hit that bell so you can get those notifications. We appreciate you so freaking much, and we can't wait to see you in the next one.